entering vendor invoices is a straightforward process with a few time-saving tricks available. The invoice batch entry process can be started either from the edit menu or the invoices button on the toolbar. This screen lists all active batches and within each batch any of three different types of documents for vendors on file may be created. Invoices are entered for tracking purchases and related tax. And credit notes and debit notes are used for changing either the vendor outstanding balance or a particular invoice amount owing. When creating a new invoice, choose the vendor either from the code or from the Find button, where the vendor may be located using either the name or the telephone. The default invoice number will come from the batch and entry number, but this may be changed as required. If the vendor has an invoice number format defined, the invoice number can be determined from the document date. Payment terms are automatically read from the vendor record but these can be changed by selecting a different terms code or removing the code entirely and entering each field individually. All three document types have amounts determined in the same way using distribution details. Ledger accounts may be entered directly or selected from a finder. And a default account may be defined on the vendor if the distribution typically will be the same account. Just include an amount and update the description of the expense if desired. There is an option to control whether accounts or departments have to exist before the entry can be saved. In the company profile, Validate Ledger Account determines whether no checking occurs, just the account must be present, both the account and department have been created, or the account department combination is there. After saving distribution, a user preference option is available to automatically open a new detail screen, if it is usual to enter many distributions on invoices. The distribution information may also be loaded from a set of predefined codes that contain the particular ledger account and an option for saving the purchase to the tax tracking report. Distributions may also go directly to the tax account or include the purchase and the tax portion in the same distribution. For tax included purchases, the account may be left blank to allow selection by the user on the invoice or work in conjunction with the vendor default. Enter the tax inclusive amount and the tax portion is broken out. If particular groupings of accounts and or distribution codes are regularly entered onto vendor invoices, this grouping can be defined as a distribution set. This enables quick entry by clicking the distribution set button, selecting the set code, and cycling through all the details of the set where only the amount needs to be entered. After saving a document and creating a new one, a user preference option is available to remember the vendor code, document type, date, reference, and description from the previous entry. If integration exists with either Adagio Job Cost or Adagio Time and Billing, the detail screen changes and a detailed type field allows directing the distribution to a particular job purchase or retained amount or a particular customer disbursement. When this batch entry is posted, a new entry is created for retrieval into the respective application. Manage your payment scheduling by entering and reporting on vendor invoices. 
For more information about Adagio Accounting, use these on-screen links or from the video description. Thanks for watching.